Hey Canonites, welcome back for the latest in cannon fodder. It's generally light, which is absolutely forgivable given what month we're finally in. Halo 5 is just around the corner, and for Grimm to keep pushing these articles out on a weekly basis is nothing short of amazing. And speaking of amazing, the Cannon Fodder articles recently celebrated their one year anniversary. So let's hear it for Grimm for producing these and 343 for allowing him to do so. But now on to the main reason we're here, the content. As many notice, the Covenant vehicles in Halo 5 are noticeably different from past versions, both aesthetically and functionally. Well, as I've been saying, there is a canon reason to accompany the new art direction. Today, Grimm reveals the former. We start out with the T-54 Banshee. The new look is a Hesturos design. If you haven't read Halo the Thursday War, Hesturos was a Sangheili colony that was basically cut off from the Covenant and the Sangheili just before the Great Schism. When Julum Dama stumbled upon it, he took advantage of the ignorance of the native Sangheili and their still present religious fervor to start his new Covenant faction. Anyway, the T-54 Banshee features a number of upgrades, largely due to the lack of restrictions from the conservative San Shayum, including energy shields. Next is the T-54 Ghost, an improvement of the T-32 of yore. With the latest boost gravity drives and improved protection for the driver, the T-54 Ghost gives operators the edge in ground engagements. Now before we move on, I find it particularly interesting that both the Banshee and the Ghost are identified as T-54 models. Jules Covenant Faction first came into prominence in 2554. Coincidence? I think not! Next up is the T-57 Phantom, a vehicle that has a few noticeable changes, such as the deployable 4 turret. The new Phantoms are actually produced by three armories. Aquam Weapons, known for the T-44 Phantoms seen in Halo 4, along with the Lich and the T-29 and T-55 Shades. Kolar Manufactorum, a forge based in the state of Vodum. It produces the Helios Grail Mjolnir armor and is working with the UNSC to unlock the secrets of Blamite. And finally, a newcomer, Malurok Armory. While the armory is new, the planet it's based on, Malurok, isn't. Sort of. Malurok is the Sangheili name for the world known as Decided Heart, homeworld of Ripa Morami and Parg Vol. The new Phantom itself draws aesthetic inspiration from aquatic predators found on Sangheili colonies. Finally, we have the T-58 Wraith. Noted as being a lighter and more nimble variant, this one is indeed a brand new design with a number of other upgrades that have caught the eyes of Oni. Well, that wraps it up for the Covenant vehicles, for now. Next up is an update on the Halo Channel mobile app. It's currently only available on iPhone and Androids, much to my dismay. But if you have either, the app just updated to grant access to the Halo Universe entries and all the latest news, including your favorite weekly blog post. And closing out this article is the brand new live action trailer titled The Hunt Begins. Click here to watch it. A little later today, I'll also have my breakdown up, which will be linked in another annotation and in the description below. With the article done, we move on to the Universe entries. This week we have Blue Team and Fire Team Osiris. There's not a whole lot to talk about, but that's not really a bad thing. I just recently did a complete profile on Blue Team, along with a profile on each of its 2558 members, which you can see here if you haven't seen already. Osiris is a fairly new squad, one put together with Spartans of varying talents, allowing for a lot of flexibility in the field. I recently also did profiles on each member of Osiris, which you can watch here. Links for both are also in the description. And that does it for this week. Some awesome info and more teases for Halo 5. Who could ask for more so close to launch? Thanks for joining me as always, and a huge thank you to Grimm for your efforts. May you all shine bright. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.